Hi everybody, this is Nina. Welcome to my channel and welcome all the new subscribers too. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. I mean that. Um, today I am not feeling the greatest so I thought I would just share a little bit of, um, of the things that I love and things that I that I enjoy doing. Now I know that I've told you guys I have um, osteoarthritis and everywhere in my body and um, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and I won't go on and on um, but it does cause me to have a lot of pain so when I go through a flare it sometimes will cause me to um, just not be able to do anything I just want to sleep well having a excuse me having a YouTube channel you know I I want to keep this going and I want to be interesting to people and I do have bad days but I'm going to try my best to press through them even if it's only five to ten minutes a day I'm going to try to find something that is going to be enjoyable for someone to watch um, so today I got in I was um, looking at some stuff that I had put up over the winter and things that I projects that I wanted to get done well, I ended up running across this quilt. It's just a quilt top. It's it's never been quilted. Um, and my grandmother, Lawhorn, she was um, Grandma Margaret. She was the one that, that crocheted and sewed, and she did just a little bit of everything, all kinds of crafts type of stuff. Uh, when she was a young girl, the things that she said she did for fun because they worked so hard and she was raised in Kentucky. Um, her dad was a traveling preacher and he traveled around on a mule. So grandma got left with anybody that would take care of her for a while. And um, bless her heart, she never complained. You know, she tried to find good things and everything. Um, I aspire to be more like her. But um, she did tell me when she was young and she would have to take the go get the cows in or um, go get them to make sure, you know, so she could milk of them. She would uh, hold on to the tails of the cows and they would pull her back home. She would like ski, like almost water skiing behind them. Um, she had to do something for fun, right? Didn't hurt the cows. But anyway, this is, it brought up that memory. Um, she made this for me when I got married. So this thing Let's see, uh, Steve and I will be married 34 years this coming January. And this has just got, it's just old pieces of um, shirts and dresses and probably sheets. And I'm not sure what all, but let me, let me kind of hold it up here. See all the different. It's never never been quilted so what I would love to do now the material is getting old and some of it probably has dry rotted um, but what I would like to do is well yeah I found a piece right here this looks like this was my grandpa's shirt matter of fact it has oh is that the part yeah right here um, see that fraying right there there's there's spots like that all over so what I would like to do is to take my time and on days that I don't feel like doing anything sew those back up if I can if they're not too far gone uh, this was all hand done this is the back side of it so I could go in right now you know and, and start fixing them and I don't think I would do it on the, on a machine because it's never been, I think that would be hard for the material. So I'll probably try to, if I can, go in and just sew it by fingers with a um, needle and thread and then um, probably get some type of a batting. And then a friend of mine, her mom has a quilting machine. Um, and she told me before years ago that any time that I got this done that they that I could quilt it on that machine So what you do is with the batting and everything on and the backing put on um, Tacked on you can just lay this out and the machine is really big and it just takes it and it sews in automatically different patterns and stuff to quilt the batting and the quilt top and then the backing all together um, a lot of times, like Grandma always did all that by hand, 
but her wish was for me to finish this quilt and here it's 30 you know over 33 years old because I don't know uh, how long it took her to do this and I've not done anything with it um, you know life gets in the way sometimes and we don't do the things that we wish we you know had done so maybe I'll get this finished and if, if not to be used um, maybe to be hung up somewhere or put up you know just put up somewhere and if I don't do anything with it um, I'll continue to try to preserve it to the best of my ability and um, so yeah that's special to me I don't even know what the name of the quilt would be, would be called because I know each um, different type of pattern has different names so I, I need to look that up but if any of you guys know what it's called you can let me know I've made a couple and um, I honestly let me see if I can find one okay I found this one is just called um, oh a rag quilt I think okay what I did was you can see it from you can use it from either side um, I did it in Little Mermaids, Little Goldfish. This is like a flannel, and this is like cotton. And then the other side of it, it's got the, you leave it um, with the trim undone, and that's how it looks. And I have held on to that. Um, a couple people, I made it, and it. Um, I didn't get to give it to you, who I originally made it for. So it's just never worked out. So I figured maybe it doesn't want to leave. It likes it here. And I use it in the winter. I think it's adorable. I wanted to show you another project that I started last winter and I never got finished. Uh, this is, I love tulips probably one of my very favorite flowers um, for the fact that there are so many colors, so many variations of the colors, and they're beautiful and delicate, but they don't last very long. And I don't know if that's probably why they're so special to me, but um, I found this pattern and it's not, you know, it's not even a quarter of the way done, but I'll go ahead and share it with you. This is called a tulip pattern. And I crocheted this, and on the ends, I've still got all the strings hanging. This is how, how big it is. And then I'm, I'm just making a nice um, throw. So I want to get that done this winter. It goes really quick after you get started on it, but my hands, especially um, my right hand where the arthritis is so bad it my hands just stay swelled up with inflammation but the knuckles in here it makes it really hard but I would like to get this done and you know I've made um, many many blankets as far as crochet blankets I've made um, I believe each of my siblings one I've made uh, my dad one and my father-in-law when he was alive um, I don't really remember all the ones that I have made and this is the very first one I've ever made for myself so it's very very special to me because of it being the tulips and it's in my you can do any color and these were my favorite colors the purple and the pink and you know what's uh, when I started this we didn't have the upstairs living room done remember it was just um, it had a bedroom and then part of a small living room and now it's all one big living room so when this gets done this is going to go beautifully on the back of the rocking chair that my dad left me um, so yeah I'm excited to get this done and really maybe being on the back of the rocking chair um, it doesn't have to be quite as big so it might not take me quite as long so I just wanted to share a little bit of the things that I enjoy and um, when I feel good and this I, I do a lot of those projects in the winter because um, in Ohio it's really cold and freezing cold here 
and it feels like my bones just never get warmed up hardly. And when you're able to, to work with um, wools and yarns and stuff, it, it, um, it's like wearing gloves. And it lays on your lap and keeps you really warm. So, all right, um, that's all I'm going to say for now. I just wanted to put a little video out there. and You know, every little thing like this that I do, I feel like you guys are getting to know me a little more. So, those are some of the things that I enjoy doing. So, everybody have a great day and, and good night. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.